for sure. Um, I'm just getting ready to head out the door and do something I should have done a long time ago. I got something coming up. They want me to do some blood work. And I've been putting it off for almost two weeks because I hate needles. So yeah, I'm gonna, well I think more than, it really is not the needle thing. I think more of it is like going and having to wait in a fucking waiting room and think about the needle. <laughs> so for like a fucking hour. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go do that right now. And once I get back, I'll continue uh, with a little vloggish shit and um, continue with you in my life, I guess. So let's do it. Okay guys, I just got back from doing my blood work and um, I don't know, I mean, life, I um, I don't know, <laughs> I'll just show you. I thought I broke my arms. I um I was nervous going in there. I waited maybe like forty five minutes before they called me back. There were quite a few people there. And um yeah, I passed out while they were drawing my blood for my right arm. It's not the first time it's happened, it's been like fifteen years. Um that is scary as shit, man. And this is why I don't like doing blood, you know. I, um, when I was younger, I had a couple experiences like this where after the blood was drawn, I stood up and, like, walked out and fell down, just, like, blacked out. Um, but it's been so long, I just didn't, I didn't think about it. I didn't, I guess I kind of thought about it. I don't really know what my fear is about having blood drawn, but I guess it's that. And I guess it all goes back to that. Um, it's because I've had bad experiences with it, and, um, I was almost done, too. She had, like, two more vials to do. I don't know how many she was doing. There were, like, six or seven. And, um, yeah, I started feeling, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to pass out, right? <laughs> and then I heard her say something, and I remember just going forward and like waking up all sweaty, and, like, there, there were three nurses, and they were putting ice on my neck. And one of them um, was like rubbing like ice on my arms. It was just, uh, it was weird. I felt like hot, but like really cold at the same time without the ice. And um, just very uncomfortable. I was like, I don't know, it happened. It just happened. And um, so they took like after, and I mean, I was there for probably like way too long. It never takes that long. It just never happens. But, um, so like after they got me like awake again and stable, they used those little salt things on me um, or whatever it is, sniffing salts or whatever. I don't know, but that they did that. And then they moved me to this other room and they finished the other two on my left arm when I was laying down. So um, I made it through it. <laughs> I, I don't have much blood to give, <laughs> so yeah. That's that, I'm glad it's over with. I can continue moving forward with everything else in my life and um, see what else the day has in store, you guys. <laughs> I had this one. Is this what you call preventative medicine? I 
I gotta get a good workout. And yeah, I'm totally getting a good workout here. Something you started. I started this yesterday. I started this yesterday. I started this last night, I guess. I guess, yeah, the first line says it all. But I haven't gotten very far. Just thought I'd share it since I'm sharing everything with you. How's it going? <clears throat> Tonight! expensive with medical stuff when you don't have insurance. This is how much my blood work cost me today. This is what I had done. $456. That's crazy. Um, I have a lot of long, long story fucked up life, but I have insurance in California, not in Nevada. Um, this would be free. Uh, in California, it wouldn't cost me $456. It would be free. Um, is what it is. But no, uh, things are like really expensive. I have Kaiser in California and it's just, it's way different over here. Um, it's not as simple. You know, I can't go to one doctor and be referred to other doctors in the same building. And um, yeah, it's just been, it's been kind of difficult because I go to the doctor a lot. And <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I don't have anything like seriously wrong with me, but I'm always, it seems like I'm always doing something with that. And it's important to have insurance, definitely, because um, things are just different. And I mean, yeah, things are just different in Nevada. It's not like California. It's not easy. It's not like Kaiser. I can't just get everything done in one trip. And I think that's another thing that's made it so hard for my life is, Having to go a million different places when I don't even like to drive or be out in public, it makes it very difficult for me. I'm just lucky that this place was close. I don't think it has an address on here, but it was just right around the corner. I got there and there were like, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 people there already. And um, yeah, it took about 45 minutes, but I'm just glad that the situation is over now. So hopefully I'll find something to do today and things will be better than yesterday they already are i'm happy to be alive and um, i don't know what else to say so i'll just turn it off for now <laughs> i just noticed a little bit of bruising on my arm I'm assuming it's from the the blood draw today if you can see it or not it's kind of lighting's kind of shitty but right here this area You got me right there. You got me right there. <clears throat> Glad that's okay. I ordered a couple guitar hangers to bring a couple of my guitars downstairs. They just came in like 15 minutes ago. Just a regular guitar hanger like my other ones. I just thought the cool, the cool part was the packaging. It's purple and green. My favorite colors. You can't see enough of it here. So yeah, that's these. I'll put those up later. So um, for now, I'm just going to get back to uh, editing, and then I'll put something up later for you guys.